Well, I think it's a solid contribution to the art world. I think everyone's going, dude, why would you support John Ratcliffe? Like, when you're a Democrat, you're running as a Democrat, and then you want to say that you're supporting John Ratcliffe for president, and he's kind of, or not president, <laughs> for director of national intelligence, which is almost like supporting him for president. And um, you have to understand, number one, I do trust conservative people a lot, and so that's one of the best things about me running for president is I'm like, there's no one in the world that can go across the aisle. Number two, I didn't have a chance to pick the DNI. Number three, the DNI isn't really a, um, a, a, a my view of the Constitution position. Um, what does that mean? So if you're a liberal, you have a liberal view of the Constitution. You mean that it's you, you believe that it's kind of up to interpretation uh, a lot more than someone who has a strict view of the Constitution. Um, so, ooh, but odd enough. Someone with a strict view of the Constitution might believe that um, spying, um, that you have to, you need limits on spying. I can't believe I have so much pain on my face. No, the good news is that that painting was not for me. That painting was for my parents, and so um, my mom liked it. So that's really what matters. And my dad is just sitting there going, I don't know, it has three boobs. <laughs> It does. It would be awful. The painting would suck if it didn't have three boobs. That's the key to the whole thing. I, I feel like like a recurring th theme in my art is going to be boobs. Th this Japanese woman that's in the mental hospital, she's like, a recurring theme in my art is is penises, <laughs> which I think she said phallic in images. And so a recurring theme in my art is, is boobs, but I really should have some um, vaginas hidden in there. But I, I, I feel like vagina is kind of like a, a sacred area. The boobs are a fun area. Um, but also the boobs add some roundness to all of my art where um, I don't naturally have very much roundness to it unless I make an effort. All right, so um, I feel like I scared the crap out of John Radcliffe a while ago, and that's why he resigned. He, he, he put, withdrew his name from being DNI, and that's the real reason I'm being nice to him. So when I talk about my art, and I'm wondering if it's good because um, YouTube had a recommended video art fails which it wasn't my my the painting's not done and that's the thing about oil painting is it's not done until it's done a lot of time um so um like for a long time the internet has told me if i did good or bad on, on certain art like like it's it's not the internet it's someone hacking my computer and like communicating to me through hacking my computer and that's pretty much like how i like like that's how I've selected my Glass Road songs to record. I'm gonna go back and record this song. Oh yeah, wait, Erasure. I just saw that. I just wrote that song yesterday. Now I'm seeing something. Okay, now I know it's a good song. And so it was like 12 songs that it happened on, where like they would tell me which song is good. And that's why I'm paranoid about whether or not that painting is good. But I feel like the painting is good no matter what because it's got three boobs. The colors aren't um, overwhelming, and I mean the background. I feel like I'm going to have to start like thinking about what it means to make a gray background or to make a, a, um, a Picasso style background. But I might actually, um, in my later works, I might start uh, making different types of backgrounds. Um, this is this is John Alexander early work where he's afraid to do anything because he's going to fail. But my next piece, I'm just going to hit you with color. Anyway, so um, yeah, um, John Ratcliffe shouldn't like... He should be confident in his position, and, and everyone else should probably be confident in, in him having that position too, I think, unless I'm going to find out that I'm crazy. You never really know. Um, I feel like he, uh, I don't know. Um, it doesn't, but I, I do understand, like, having a problem with him being a religious nut. And um, that's just life. I, I think he's still, I think he can still be a pretty solid person and be super religious.